Well, uh, if you look at the history of IKEA, uh, Bio-based has been our main uh, focus. I mean, more than 60% of our sales revenue comes from world, right? Uh, but I mean, what we have seen is that we need to go beyond that. Uh, we are in uh, polymers, chemicals, all the adhesives and glues which we use today are fossil-based, need to actually go into uh, bio-based, so as to have an overall positive impact. Right. So it fits very well. The key aspect behind this new partnership is that IKEA along with like-minded partners would come together and create new value chains, new materials, more from uh, renewable sources which can actually end up into products and are at our customers' homes. And we have a commitment together uh, to make sure that we move this industry so that uh, the customers can have sustainable products uh, coming from renewable sources but at affordable prices. Well, we will start to do that. Uh, our, our concept is quite simple. Uh, our, our customers, like the millions of visitors which come to IKEA, they do understand uh, that how IKEA as a company has evolved over the years, right? And so we are, we, for us, the product speaks for itself as a starting point. And then what we what we have decided, we'll have, we're going to have a very honest communication where we're going to say, this is the renewable content in this product today. And we are on a journey because this industry is on a journey. So instead of saying up till 20%, 30%, we're going to say it is 45% today. So that's that's the way we believe it's, it's good to have a very clear, forward, clear, straightforward and honest communication to the customers. I would say most customers at IKEA, I mean, why, why, do, why do customers come to IKEA? That's a fundamental question, right? Uh, of course, IKEA, our, our vision is for the many people, right? Uh, so customers come to IKEA because they believe they're going to get value for money, uh, they're going to get good design uh, at affordable prices, and that uh, over the years, over the decades, we have taken responsibility, if it, whether it comes to social responsibility, or it comes to how to make products in a more responsible way. So we expect our customers to take sustainability as something great granted for IKEA as a brand. Well, uh, the, one of the key values in, the, in, in IKEA as a company is daring to be different, uh, going different paths. And we love problems, we love challenges. So that's a key uh, value in the company already. And everyone working at IKEA understands and embraces that. Uh, Bioeconomy, the shift in bio agenda is a huge shift. I think most people in IKEA who are working with the agenda understand, appreciate, are inspired by the challenges which we, get, which we see in front of us. So that is a journey which we are going to take and we are taking as we speak. Uh, everyone understands this is not something you will fix it in a short while. It is a long-term approach where we will work with our strategic partners, creating new value chains together with them so that at a certain point we actually will embrace full renewability in all our products. Well, uh, an event like IFIB, this is my first time in IFIB, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, I think uh, we need more of these kind of uh, events happening, you know, properly spaced over the year. Uh, so that more and more you know, value chain partners right up from you know, the feedstock companies all the way down to brand owners can come together. I think that is a good start. Uh, but I, what I also think is important, what you have in, in partnership uh, you know, meetings which are organized, I think it's, it's a very good way where it, within one or two days you can actually meet potential 10 to 12 partners and start to take the journey forward. Uh, and I can always already now tell you, I mean, if I had to book these 10, 12 meetings you know, uh, over emails or calls or physical meetings probably take six months. So that is an effective way of connecting and networking. That's what my view is.